Welcome back everyone to part two of layer three router concepts. So we left off in the last video, part one, whereby I configured this local area network. Okay, essentially just at this moment in time, just these two PCs and we watched this address resolution protocol. Now we're gonna take it one step further. We're gonna bring in another network. So the first thing I'm gonna do guys is, I'm gonna to need to bring up these ports because at the moment, these are administratively shut down. And you'll notice that I brought up in the previous video, I configured, if you like, the default gateway to be 192.168.1.1. On this side now, I'm gonna to need to configure the IP addresses on these PCs on a default gateway. So similar to how we did it in part one, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put in a IP address for gigabit zero slash one. So gigabit zero slash one, and I'm gonna say this is 192.168, and I'm gonna to check to see what network this is on, and this is gonna be on the 50 network dot one, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna configure up my PC two and PC three. So let's go into desktop, IP addresses, and hopefully you're getting familiar with this part, 192.168, 50 dot, and let's say dot 10 on this side. Let's give a default subnet mask here. Um, and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give that IP address of the, the, the default gateway. So it's gonna be 50.1. Then on this side, guys, I'm gonna also give this PC a IP address. So again, I'm gonna give 192.168.50.11 in this case. Again, I could have chosen a random, any random IP address in that slash 24 range. Once it wasn't clashing with the other um, PCs, that is or the default gateway. So I'm gonna say 192.168.50.1 again, am I? Okay, so that's my doorway out. So once I've done that, folks, what I'm going to then say is I need to start configuring my router. So once I go in here, guys, I'm gonna go into my CLI, and the first question it's gonna ask me is, do you wanna run through this initial configuration dialog? So my answer always to this question is, no, I don't. I don't wanna run through a huge amount of questions. I just wanna get in onto user mode and start configuring my router. So I'm gonna answer no to this and press enter. Once I do that, I'm now at the user configuration mode setting, if you like. So I'm now at the router prompt. I can now start to use my skills of the, the Cisco iOS. So very similar to how we configured switches in the past, in order to configure routers, I can move into what's called enable mode. So this is gonna change from user to privilege mode. And then what I can do then is I can go in and start to configure things. In order to configure things, i.e., for example, ports on the router and bring them up, I need to move from this privilege mode into configuration mode. So to do that, I can type in configure terminal or config T, whichever you prefer. If you want the shortened version, you can do so. So again, some people will always like to use the, con the shortened con commands. That's absolutely fine, whichever works best for you. So once I do that, I press enter. I'm now in configuration mode. What I now need to do is, I now need to bring these interfaces up. So what I'm gonna do first is, I'm gonna go into interface, and I'm gonna say gigabit zero slash zero. So what I'm essentially doing is, I'm moving into this port, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm now gonna move into that, it's gonna change me into this configuration interface mode, and now what I'm gonna say is, I'm gonna say IP address, and again, I'm gonna say 192.168.1.1. And I'm also gonna to need to give my subnet mask. And again, this is gonna be a slash 24. So I'm gonna say 255.255.255.0. The last thing that I need to do, and sometimes people forget this command, but it's a really, really important one, is I'm going to need to bring this interface up. In other words, at the moment, this is administratively shut down. So what I need to do is I need to use the command no shutdown. And what this will do is it will bring the interface up. Once I press enter, you're gonna notice that these links will start to go green. Watch what happens, okay? And you can see at the moment, because I'm in simulation mode, you can see it'll actually start to send out traffic. Some traffic is being sent out this port from, for example, the switch. But if I go back to real-time mode, what will happen is this will stay this amber color for about 30 seconds with spanning tree protocol, but then it should go green. Now again, I've only done one side of the link here at this stage, guys, but in order to see this, and again, I like to verify things as I go along, what we can actually do is I can go exit, 
exit, and I can go back to my privilege mode here, and what I could do is I could use this command, show IP interface brief. Now again, I can use, I often like to, to shorten this command to show IP inter, int brief, but again, this is interface brief. Okay, same command, okay? And what this will do is it'll show me, and I like to always move this out to, to see the full window. It makes it a little bit easier. But you can see at the moment, guys, look at this now. I can see my gigabit ethernet 00, zero this port, has now got an IP address, and I can see the status of layer one is up, and I can see the status of layer two is up. So this is a good sign. Now, if you said to me, Greg, how could I ensure that it was the correct mask that, we, that was used on this interface? Well, again, what I could do is I could look at the running configuration, okay? So in order to see the running configuration, I can go show run, or the longer command that people use, show running config. Once I press enter here, I can press enter at a time to go one step at a time, or I can press spacebar to jump a screen at a time. So once I press spacebar, you can see I'm jumping a big um, difference. But here you can see, guys, have a look. There is my configuration. So again, I can see that I've now got a slash 24 mask on this gigabit 00. And I can see this indeed is the IP address I've configured. So once I've done that on, on this particular interface, I still haven't done anything on this interface. You can see at the moment, it's got no IP address and it's shut down. So I need to change that. So what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna go into configuration mode, conf T. I'm gonna go into interface gigabit zero slash one. And now what I'm gonna to need to do is I'm gonna to need to put an IP address on this interface. So I'm gonna say IP address, and I'm gonna say 192.168.50.1. One, and I'm going to also use my subnet mask of 255.255.255.0. And once I've done that, guys, the last command again that I'm going to need to use is my no shutdown. So no shut. No shut for short or no shutdown in full. So I'm going to use no shut, and that's going to bring the interface up. So this is just a point to note, guys, at the moment. So again, once, once I do that, and you can see if, for example, you made a mistake, you could, for example, if you wished, you can see that it's brought this interface up. But the way I brought that interface up was no shut. If I wanted to turn it back off, let's say you made a mistake or you wanted to shut it down, you could actually use the shut down command. So I'm gonna press shut down for a moment and you can see what I've actually just done is, I've kind of just, I brought it up for a second and then I shut it down manually. Now, before I go any further, guys, I just wanna show you something. If I go exit and exit here, I wanna just show you that what now the, 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 this router knows about is, it knows about, basically, you can see it has got two cables connected. But you can see at this stage, I've terminated, if you like, gigabit zero slash one, uh, or shut it down. On the other side, it's basically up, and I've got correct or valid IP addressing. So what I could do at this moment in time is, I could have a look at the IP routing table for the first time. So our objective three was to observe the routing table. So if I just go show IP route, this is the command to look at the IP routing table. So when I press enter here, have a look at what it knows. So up here it shows us the code, so what these symbols down here means. And we can see that we've got what's called a C code and an L code. So what does this mean? So let's look at this first entry here, guys. What this basically says is, it says, I'm connected to the 192.168.1.0 slash 24 network, and it's connected at my gigabit ethernet 00 interface. So it's basically saying, hey, I know about this network connected at my gigabit 00 interface, and it's the network 192.168.1.0. That's the network. So you might then say, Greg, Where's the 192.168.50 network, if that's the case? Now remember, at this moment in time, this is still shut down. I brought it up, but then I shut it down. So what the router would have done is, it would have had that route that into the 50 network, but then it would have disappeared. Why? Because I basically shut it down. In order to see that, guys, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna now show you that route coming up. So I'm gonna go conf t, I'm gonna go interface, gigabit, zero slash one, and what I'm gonna do now, guys, is I'm gonna basically say, no shut. And what this does is, it's gonna bring that link up, and then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you, again, the routing table. So I'm gonna go exit, exit, to go back to privilege mode, and I'm gonna use that show IP root command here. So once I press show IP root, look what, I ha what happens, guys. 
I had my connected route in here before of basically 192, 1.0, but you might notice, guys, I've got more entries now. Why have I got more entries? I've added another connected route. What's this connected route? Have a look, guys. I've added in another route to the 192.168.50 network because this has now got a valid IP address and it's now in the upstate. So now, guys, what I've got is I've got two networks. One network connected out my gigabit ethernet um, interface of 192.168.1 and I've got another network connected out my gigabit 01. What's that one? That's my 192.168.50 network. You might also say, guys, you might also say, but Greg, you've also got another, basically, entry there in your routing table, something beginning with L. So we can see we've also got what's called a local route, okay? And you'll see this. In this local route, you can see it's got what's called a slash 32, um, basically, subnet, subnet mask. So a slash notation of slash 32. What does that indicate? For the router, this uses this as a kind of special purpose um, host route. So in other words, this uses it. So any traffic designated for 192.168.1.1, exactly that address is this host route. But for our needs for looking into this routing table, our key most important networks are this connected network here for this 192.168.1 network and this connected network here of 50. There is another local route down here. You'll see I've also got the local route for 192.168.50.1 again, slash 32. But for our needs, guys, what we should recognize at the, at the end of this process now that we've configured these interfaces is that we've now got two networks and what we should have is we should have connectivity. In the next video, guys, what we're going to do is we're going to test this to ensure how our traffic moves from one network to another network. And we're going to look at the arping process and we're going to see how our, basically, our layer two information changes but our layer three information stays the same, traveling from source to final destination. I hope you'll join me for part three, and we'll be back in just a moment. Thanks, guys, and see you soon.